education. I'm a uh, CPS teacher teaching ESL and bilingual on the west side, and I'm a, a delegate for the Chicago Teachers Union. I'm also an immigrant. I'm a son of two immigrants, and I'm a teacher of all immigrants. And my first message today is to the alt-white, alt-right white supremacists who have been making a point of showing up at every mass mobilization. Not in Chicago, not in our city. All you have to do is look up at these buildings and you know that brick by brick, these buildings were built by the poor, the black, the immigrant, the LGBTQ. And if you can't handle that, then you don't need to be in this city. These are the same people that white supremacists call parasites, undesirables, illegal, and lazy. But without them, society would not exist as we know it. Right, so I'm looking around here today and I see a lot of the same faces that I see when we march against Israeli apartheid, when we march against war, when we march against police brutality, education cuts, climate change, when we march for women's liberation and for black lives. And this is us answering history's calling. What is to be done in the face of a shithole president and a blatant billionaire takeover of the state? What do we do when Rex Tillerson, an oil baron, personally responsible for more climate change than any other human who's ever lived, is given the Department of State like an undeserving rich kid given his newest sports car to wreck? What do we do? What do we do when Goldman Sachs hedge fund manager and foreclosure king Steve Mnuchin quite literally makes a killing off of condemning families to homelessness for profit and then he is rewarded with the Secretary of Treasury to regulate the same banks that he and his collaborators own? What do we do? Shut it down! What do we do with a washed up TV show host who started off his career being sued for refusing to rent apartments to black tenants who's been accused by 16 women of sexual assault caught on camera bragging about it who has disparaged immigrants calling them rapists and drug dealers who believes that white supremacists who crash their cars into anti-racist protesters are very fine people who is endorsed by Klansman David Duke who pardoned racist Joe Arpaio who brings ethno-nationalists like Steve Bannon into his coalition at home this is when we change history this is when we storm the conductor's cabin and we throw this train in reverse. This is about tossing Trump and all the Trumps out there into the dustbin of history, never to be repeated. And we are not neutral. We cannot be neutral in this country. With our history, neutrality and silence is an act of violence. Just as like when Rahm Emanuel closes schools on the south and west side and his unelected board of education bleeds our schools dry year after year, decade after decade, schools still segregated since the great migration, redlined, gentrified, and tossed out with the last tenants. What do we do? Shut it down! They say terrorize and deport millions of undocumented immigrants. We say immigrants and refugees are welcome here. Full amnesty, open borders, especially to countries terrorized by U.S. imperialism like El Salvador and Nicaragua. They say larger military budgets, illegal occupation, permanent states of war, mercenary armies, drones. We say dismantle imperialism, close military bases, slash weapons expenditures. They say mass incarceration, private prisons, teens who commit suicide after years in Rikers Island for a stolen backpack without trial. They say torture site, police torture site in Holman Square. Cops who tour the West Bank to learn brutality from a racist occupation force. We say liberation, poverty relief, restorative justice, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters back in their homes. They say homelessness, frozen dead bodies found under Lakeshore Drive, children shivering on State and Lake Street under the shadow of million dollar condos that Rob throws public tip money into to give his rich developer friends an incentive to stay here. Now, now we say that we we say 
housing as a human right, full fridges and warm, home, warm homes for everybody. Now the good news is that there are only 540 billionaires in this country. We probably outnumber them here today. We need an under unwavering commitment to class struggle against those who disenfranchise, disparage, and kill for profit. Because whether you know it or not, you are now engaged in class struggle. And class struggle is being waged against you, so what will you do? 30 seconds. We believe workers should keep every cent we produce instead of having the fruits of our labor redistributed upwards towards the tr <laughs> towards the Trumps, the Roberts, the Roger Stones, the Sheldon Adelsons, the Mercers, the Ken Griffins, the Bannons, the Tillersons, the DeVosses. Right now I make every I ask everyone here to make a commitment to come out to at least five protests this year. Bring your loved ones, teach them how to fight, because we need to reclaim our power. That power, that spark is the only thing that can save us in the and this planet. And in the same spirit that freed South Africa from apartheid despite US support that occupied Zupati Park, that raises Palestinians up from the depths of occupation, from Chicago to Palestine, from Honduras to Iran, from Brooklyn to Charlottesville, from Tunisia to Egypt. The people in motion have power, but it's up to us to harness that power and liberate the world in the process. Yeah!